بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم لا حول ولا قوة الا بالله العلی العظیم الحمد لله رب العالمین و صلی الله علی سیدنا و نبینا ابی القاسم المصطفى محمد و آله الطیبین الطاهرین لا سیما بقیت الله فی الارضین اجل الله تعالى فرجه الشریف اللهم اخرجني من ظلمات الوهم و اکرمنی به نور الفهم اللهم افتح علينا ابواب رحمتك و انشر علينا خزائن علومك و رحمتك يا ارحم الراح الحمد لله بیاب توفیق تو کنتینو ار ستادی آف الفق الاستدلالی اور دسکشن واز اباوت دی نسیسیتی آف هاوینگ نو واجب قضا so that you can do mustahab fasting okay so if someone has some days of months of Ramadan to make qadha for cannot do mustahab fasting it's different from salat if you have qadha of salat even for a year two years ten years still you can do your nawafil you can do salat al qufil etc but for fasting, you must first make your qadha. Then we reached this point on page 394. We, we discussed this. We reached on page 396 to this issue, to this problem. What about someone who has wajib, for example, uh, fasting, but not for himself, for example, because he wants to be hired. If they pay you and you accept, it becomes wajib on you to fast on behalf of someone. It's not your own fasting which is to be done as qadha, it's someone else's fasting. Can you do mustahab fasting for yourself when you have accepted to do qadha for another person? This is the question. Thumma law banayna ala ta'meem. If we said any wajib fasting is an obstacle for mustahab fasting, ta'meem means it's not only qadha of Ramadan. Any wajib fasting. فَهَلْ يَجُوزُ التَّطَوْعُ لِمَنْ عَلَيْهِ سَوْمٌ اِسْتِجَارِ Sawmun istijari means someone is fast, uh, hired to fast. Can such people also volunteer for fasting or no? Why this question is raised? Because on the one hand, this person doesn't have any wajib of his own. Nothing is remaining for his own. But on the other hand, he, there is a contract, there is a promise of making qadha for someone else. Rubama yujabu bil ijab. Sometimes, or it is likely that the answer could be given is yes. Meaning, yajuzu tatabu. Hal yajuzu tatabu? Naam yajuzu tatabu. Why? Lil in seraf ila ma iza kana sumul wajibu ala shakhs nafsi. Because when we say you must not have wajib fasting so that you can do mustahab fasting, yan sarifu ila. Ensaraf in Usul al you know, we discussed about Ensaraf. So our mind automatically when hears that would not think of anything apart those fasting which is wajib because this person himself has duty and responsibility to fast. Like Qadha of the months of Ramadan for example or made has been Nazar for example has become wajib. But if it is wajib on someone else it doesn't come to mind. So ensaraf is towards this means then if it is anything other than this 
is not meant or it's you know dubious there's only this part known which part is a kana so mul wajib ala shakhs nafse when fasting is wajib upon the person himself ho wa hal yajuz tatawu' liman lam yakun mutamakkinan min al qada this is also a very relevant question especially you know for hujjaj you know someone has qada of the month of ramadan but now is a musafir is a traveler or is anyway not able to do qada of the month of ramadan so it's not that if he doesn't fast mustahab fasting he can do qada no he cannot do qada anyway like someone is in hajj for a few days in medina not even 10 days you know 10 days could make niya of aqama ashrat ayam and make fasting medina but it's four years four days three days five days eight days nine days cannot make qada for ramadan and there is a mustahab fasting which is recommended three days in the month of ramadan when you are going there for hajj you know you can do three days mustahab and you cannot do ghaza because you are musafir is it possible hal yajuz tatawu liman lam yakun mutamakkinan min al ghaza is possible to volunteer for someone who is not able to make ghaza anyway كمن يريد صوم ثلاثة أيام في المدينة لقضاء الحاجة. It's recommended if you have a special haja and you want your haja to be granted, your request to be granted, fast three days. It's mustahab. Sheikh Irwani says لا يبعد ذلك. It's not, you know, unlikely. So means it's likely that. Yes, maybe it's okay, because when we say you must not fast mustahab when you have wajib, what comes to mind is when you have wajib to do in that day. If you don't have any possibility, any capability of doing wajib anyway, so it's either you do mustahab or you don't do anything. In normal situations, if you don't do mustahab, you can do wajib. So you have three options: not to do anything. To do mustahab or to do wajib? You say, okay, do wajib. But here you cannot do wajib. Just mustahab or do nothing. The next problem, the next mas'ala, the next issue. If someone must fast and this fasting is wajib for example has qaza for the months of ramadan can he still be hired for fasting qad yudda'a zalika mutlaqa some people may say yes it's always possible always yajuz that if you have wajib to be hired oh yani qad yudda fi ma idha kana as-sawm al-musta'jar lah wajiban la mustahaban sometimes you are hired to make qada for someone for example qada of wajib like qada of month of ramadan sometimes you are hired to do mustahab fasting for someone so some people have said yajuz mutlaqa to be hired some people said it's possible to be hired if the fasting that he is hired for is wajib not mustahab so if it is wajib then he has not volunteered he has not done anything mustahab he has done something necessary because the mayyit had wajib and this is also a contract he has to do it 
وقد يدعى أن الأجير متطوع بقبوله الإجارة Sometimes also it is claimed Some people have said You know Don't think about the mayyad Whether mayyad had to do this fasting Or was mustahab to do this fasting Maybe for mayyad it was wajib Leave it For the person who is hired this was not wajib. So he's mutatawa, he's volunteer. Even if he volunteers to do wajib qaza for someone else who has died. For him, for the one who is going to fast, it's not wajib. He can accept this contract, he can leave it. Qad yudda'a anna al-ajir mutatawa'un biqabulihi al-ijara. It has been claimed, sometimes claimed, that Ajir, the one who is hired, is volunteer by accepting to be hired. فَتَشْمُلُهُ مِثْلُ صَحِيحَةِ الْحَلَبِي Sahih Halabi said if it is Mutatawa, it's okay. وَالْإِحْتِيَاتِ تَرِيقُ النَّجَاةِ At the whole, Ihtiyat is Tariqu النَّجَاةِ Sabilu النَّجَاةِ So it's better to do Ihtiyat and when you are uh, doing Ejara, first finish Ejara and don't do Mustahab. خب, this is the issue that uh, we had from last session, remaining you know, problems. But the main topic was what we had last week about not having wajib fasting, especially Qadha of the months of Ramadan, when you want to do Mustahab fasting. The next condition is Al-Hadar. This is a condition for validity of fasting that you must be in your own town. You must not be Musafir with religious definition of Musafir. Okay, so you are in Hadar, means you are in your own place. Ittafaqat al على شرطية الحذر في صحة صحة صوم رمضان. شيء علماء have agreed on حذر being a condition for validity of the fasting of the months of Ramadan. You are not to be مسافر. وأما في غيره but outside شهر رمضان. What about that? In Sha'ban, in Shawwal, in Zika'ade, if you want to do fasting, again, you should not be a traveler religiously. وَأَمَّا فِي غَيْرِهِ يعني فِي غَيْرِ شَهْرِ رَمَضَان فَالْمَشْهُورُ ذَلِك In months of Ramadan, اتفاق was there. There was consensus. Other than Months of Ramadan, it's mashur, it's well known. وَنُسِبَ الْخِلَافُ إِلَى الْمُفِيدِ رِضْوَانُ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى عَلَيْهِ It is said that Shaykh Mufid didn't believe in شَرْطِيَّةُ الْحَزْرِ Where? In the months of Ramadan? No. In سَوْمِ الْكَفَّارَةِ or anything other than months of Ramadan. فَإِنَّهُ يعني فَإِنَّ الْمُفِيدِ رَضْوَانُ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى عَلَيْهِ جَوَّزَهُ يعني جوز سوم في سوم الكفارة يعني he said you can fast even if it's not حذر في سوم الكفارة months of Ramadan you cannot be in Safra in Rahla You have to have Hadar But outside Ramadan he said Jawazahu fi sawm al-kafara Bal mutlaq al-sawm al-wajib Gheer Ramadan Sawm al-kafara is wajib but it's not Ramadan Any wajib other than Fasting after months of Ramadan Any day that it becomes wajib Still you can do it According to this ويظهر من الروايات وجود خط متمرد على هذا الحكم زمن النبي. It becomes clear when you study روايات حديث 
that there was a resistance right at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about this condition of Hazar. Some people had the idea that even if you are Musafir, you can do fasting, no problem. ففی صحیح ات زراره ان ابی جعفر علیه السلام It is authentic hadith that Zurara quotes from Imam Baqir alayhi salam Samma Rasulullah qawman saamu hina aftara wa qassara usat qalahumul usatu ila yawm al qiyamah wa inna la na'rifu abnaahum wa abnaa abnaahim ila yawm na hadha Imam Baqir alayhi salam says that Rasulullah called people that when he broke his fast, they fasted. When he was Musafir doing Salat Qasr, they were fasting. Rasulullah said, Usatun, these are people who are disobedient. Up to day of judgment, they are disobedient. And we know them, maybe this is what Imam Bagr says, because says, Ila yawmuna hadha. We know their children, we know their children of children up to the Day of Judgment. The people that despite being instructed not to fast when you are Musafir, they fasted. وَعَلَىٰ أَيَّتَ حَالِ يَكْفِي فِي إِثْبَاطِ الْمَطْلُوبِ قَوْلُهُ تَعَالَىٰ In any case, what is sufficient to argue for our position is this we have this uh, phrase from the Quran Surat Baqarah verse uh, 8 sorry 184 A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kutiba alaykum al-siyam kama kutiba ala al-ladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqum ایاما معدودات فمن کان منکم مریضا او علا سفر فعدت من ایام اخر There are certain days that you have to fast but if someone is ill or is traveling so some days from another part of the year فإن المصطفات تعین القضاء على المصافر What we can understand is that إن كنتم مريضا أو على سفر فعدة doesn't say it's better it says فعدة جملة إخبارية when it is used for أمر it's very powerful فإن المستفاة تعين القضاء على المسافر مسافر مسلوق قضاء but خالف الأمة but non Shia scholars they dis disagree they say you have choice in the months of Ramadan you are fasting when you are traveling okay you could fast and you could not fast it's up to you if you want to fast or not fast it's up to you just be consistent وستدل الجساس اولا بذيل الآية الكريمة يريد الله بكم اليسر. When Allah Subhanahu wa Taala refers in the Quran to the emergencies, estrar, and you know exceptional circumstances, Allah says that if someone is uh, not capable of fasting according to the conditions, then, for example, he can do qada. Why there is such exemption instead of doing wajib, you can do qadha later? Quran says, يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرَ Because Allah doesn't want to make life difficult for you. Allah wants you to be in ease. خب, they say, إِنَّ لَازِمَ الْيُسْرَ أَتَّخِيرَ When Allah says, فَعِدَّةُ مِنْ أَيَّامٍ آخر یورید الله به کمولیوس اتصرا. این میزه دیو کن چوز. یو هف تخیر، یو هف کن چوز. Another argument they make is that Allah says 
من شهد من کم الشهره فل یسمه بات آلسو لیتر سیز او علا سفرن فعدتون من ایام اخه On the one hand says fast, on the other hand says if you are traveling some other days. So, some people have said then he has choice between fasting now or fasting later. Vasani and the second is the law of Jassad. Binususan ravawha an nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because of some quotations from the Prophet. Wafih, but the objection to his argument is this: Amma zail al ayah fa mujmalun. Ayah at the end of it says, "Yuridu Allah bi kumul yusf." It doesn't necessarily fit to your interpretation. زیل الآیه مجمل یلتعم و مع تخیر بگیم یورید الله به کولیوس یعنی you have choice you can fast you can leave it do it late or to say that you cannot fast but you must do قضا فإن في ذلك ملاحظة لليسر ایضا in both cases there is یسر even if we say you have to do qadha, there is yours, because you don't need to do it now, you do it later. Qayatuhu fi maqam tashri'ah, la fi maqam al-amal. So we say, in legislation, there is a choice observed for you. Wazahir iradatu haza l-istifadat ta'ayyun al-qadha'i min al-ayah. It seems that we have to go by this interpretation and we have to say that you must do qadha. And even if you say, if I must do qadha, this is not yusr. We say it's yusr. Because you don't need to do it in the months of Ramadan. You do it later, but you have to do. So this kind of privilege which is given is just to do it later. وَقَوْلُوا تَعَالَى فَمَنْ كَانَ مِنْكُمْ مَرِيدًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرْ فَعِدَّةٌ مِنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرْ Actually this part يُخَسِّسُ الْحُكْمَ السَّابِقَ عَلَيْهِ This can restrict and modify what was mentioned before Why you don't notice this one وَلَا مُنَافَاتَ بَيْنَهُمَا لِيَلْزَمَ الْجَامَعَ بِالْحَمْلَ عَلَى التَّخِيرِ It's not that, you know, sometimes when there are two things and we cannot have them both, then we do takhir. But here, who said we cannot have them both? There is no munafat, there is no conflict. You said there are some prophetic hadith, but those hadith, if they are accepted, conflict with the hadith which say, Opposite to these hadith, it's not that they give takhir. So you refer to hadith as that give takhir. Okay, what about hadith which don't give takhir? So the summary of this part then is that if you are musafir, you must not fast. Certainly, in the qaza, uh, if this is. Uh, the case but maybe about other types also we have to discuss the ulama have different opinions then we move on to the next part which is about certain exceptions you are familiar with these exceptions for example if you are Musafir and you want to do mustahab fasting. Or if you are in Medina and you want to do three days for qadha ul hajjah. Or you travel after zuhr, after midday. This is your watan, you are fasting here. Zuhr is for example 12, after 12 you go, no problem. This day is not problem, but tomorrow if you are in a place which is very far, 
of course there's problem for tomorrow but today is okay and if tomorrow you come back before zohr by zohr you are in your watan it's fine if you have not eaten or drunk or didn't do any you know mubtala then it's fine mustasnayatun min shartiyat al hadar exceptions from condition of being in your own watan as sawb al mandub fi al safar sawm thalath ayam fi al madinah al munawwara as safar ba'd al zawal yani ba'd al zuhr al shar'i yani khab hunak mawarid wa waqa al kalam fi istithna'ha min shartiyat al hadar there are uh, some things that ulama discussed there is discussion about whether there are exceptions from this condition or not. Awalan as sawbul manduf as safad, thaniyan sawmu salat al ayyam li qada al haj fi al madinat al munawwara, salatan as safar wa ba'da al zawal. Let us start one by one. As sawbul manduf as safar, I am musafir but I want to do mustahab. It's a Thursday of the first Thursday of the month or last Thursday of month. I want to do mustahab, although I am musafir. Hal yasihu al-sawm al-mandub fi al-safar? Zakara al-sayyid al-amali, sahibu jami al sahibu madarik al-ahkam, sorry, sahibu madarik al-ahkam. Jami al-madarik is different, is Ayatollah Khun, sorry. Madarik al-ahkam, he says, annahu mahallu khilaf, yani sam ulama. Say it's permissible. Some say no. Hal yasuh yasuh sawm al mandub fi al safar. Zakar al sayyid al amli anhu mahal khilafin. What is the argument for those who don't agree? What is the argument for those who agree? Yumkin al istidlal al butlan. بإطلاق مثل الصحيحة الصفان ابن يحيى أن أبي الحسن عليه السلام سئل أن الرجل يسافر في شهر رمضان فيسوم فقال ليس من البر الصوم في السفر. Sometimes they benefit from إطلاق the general meaning which is understood through مقدمات حكمة. For example, Imam Qazim is asked about a person that travels in the months of Ramadan. Does this person fast? Imam said, it's not a good thing to fast when you are traveling. Okay, so they say this means it's not acceptable and not valid even. بل بالصريح مبثقة عمار الصاباطي That was the previous one was itlaq and itlaq is zahir normally but here it's sarih is explicit bi sarih muwathaqat ammar as-sabati sa'altu abu abdullah alayhi salam an ar-rajul yaqul i ask him about a person who says siqat an-nazr lillah alayya an asuma shahran he says for the sake of allah it's wajib upon me to fast one month he make nazr or akthar min zalik or aqal more or less fayaradu lahu amrun la budda lahu min an yusafir then something happens unexpected that he has to travel on the one hand he is a musafir on the other hand he has made nazr of fasting for month on month or more yasumu wa huwa musafir shall we say he fasts while he is travelling According to this, Imam said, "Iza safara fal yuftir." If he travels, he must break his fasting. La anhu la yahlu lahu sawmu fi safar. It's not permissible for you to uh, fast when you are traveling. Farida tan kana au fi au gairahu. Is it wajib or gair wajib? Doesn't make difference. Wa sawmu fi safar maasiyatun. According to this, it's haram to fast when you are traveling. So this is one side which says uh, no. They say it's not possible. On the other hand, some people argue for seha. How do they argue for seha for 
you know, being valid. بصحيحه سليمان الجعفري سمعت ابا الحسن عليه السلام يقول سليمان الجعفري سي هيرد امام كاظم عليه السلام سين كان ابي يعني امام صادق يصوم يوم عرفه في اليوم الحار في الموقف ماي فادر امام صادق يوز تو فاست اون ذا دي اوف عرفه وان اتس فيري هوت ان موقف اوف عرفات ويأمر بذل مرتفع فيضرب له and he was asking to have very high because you know maybe because he was in state of uh, ihram he didn't want to have umbrella on his head but something very high to be put خب شيخ ايرواني says this hadith doesn't say that Imam Sadiq, you know, instructed something. It says Imam Sadiq did this. Fail is mujmal because it's not instruction. Maybe Imam had done nazr to do fasting on the day of Arafat. Wama'at tanazul, and even if you compromise, fa'aqsa ma tadullu alay jawaz al-sawm yom Arafah. La aksa. The maximum is if we say that this was not just fi'lul imam, it was a kind of teaching and instruction, then the maximum is that on the day of Arafah you cannot do, uh, sorry, you can on the day of Arafah, you can because imams yasum, khan yasum, but only Arafah. The next thing is mursala, another thing that they argued from for Saha. Mursalatul Hassan ibn Bassam al Jamal, Jamal, the one who was, you know, renting camel. An Rajulin, Kuntum Abi Abdullah alayhi salam, fi maya bayna Makkata wal Madina, fi Shaban, Bahuva Sahim. Bassam al Jamal reports from someone that he said, I was with Imam Sadiq when he was going, you know, from Mecca to Medina in the months of Shaban, he was fasting. He says when Imam Sadiq saw the crescent of months of Ramadan, then from that point on he didn't fast. So he says, I was surprised. Fidak, may I be your ransom? Yesterday was Sha'ban and you were fasting. And today is months of Ramadan and you are muftir, you don't fast. Imam said, yesterday was Sha'ban, I fasted because a Musafir can do Qadha or, uh, some, or even an Ada of Mustahab. Mustahab, I mean, the month of Sha'ban, it's Mustahab to fast. I'm Musafir, no problem. But when months of Ramadan started, this is wajib and you cannot do Qadha, uh, sorry, the fasting of months of uh, Ramadan when you are traveling. We are asked not to fast during the months of Ramadan. It's a very rational approach. فَقَالَ إِنَّ ذَلِكَ تَتَوْعُونَ Fasting in the months of Sha'ban is mustahab. وَلَنَا أَنْ نَفْعَلَ مَا شِئْنَا And we, mean me and you, we can do what we want. We can do mustahab fasting in the months of Sha'ban. But now we have seen the crescent of the months of Ramadan. So we cannot do anything except what is asked from us necessarily. It's wajib upon us. In the months of Ramadan, it's wajib not to fast if you are musafir, technically, with a ritual definition. But in the month of Sha'ban, you can do mustahab fast, no problem. وَقَرِيبٌ مِنْ is very close to this hadith مُرَدْ سَلَيَّ حَسَنَ ابْنِ بَسَّامِ الْجَمَّالِ or maybe it's the same which hadith is قريب or the same حديث إسماعيل ابن سهل عن رجل عن أبي عبد الله is very similar خب according to these two hadith مرسله 
of Hassan ibn Bassam al-Jamal and Hadith Ismail ibn Sahl in the month of Sha'ban for example you can do Mustahab in the month of Ramadan you cannot do because you are not Hazar you are not in Hazar in your own Vatan but the problem is Lakinnahuma Za'ifan sanadan these two hadiths are weak when it comes to chain of narration because as we said Mursala Mursalatul Hassan ibn so Mursala means you don't know it's from whom and then he says وَعَلَيْهِ فَالْحُكْمُ بِعَدَمِ الْجَوَازُ هُوَ الْمُنَاسِبِ so if this is not reliable then to say that it's not permissible is suitable وَحَلْ يُسْتَثْنَا مِنْ ذَا so you cannot do مستحب fasting حل يستثنى من ذلك النظر الصوم في السفر What about if you make a special نظر that when I am traveling for example tomorrow Saturday I'm traveling for example I say I make نظر لله علي أن أصوم يوم السبت مثلا أو غد قال المحقق إن ذلك قول مشهور محقق خلي صاحب كتاب الشرائع الإسلام famous book which was uh, textbook in the Hose before. Uh, still, some people study, but it used to be a textbook. He says, In Nazaleka Qolun Mashur means that it's a famous uh, fatwa that if you are Musafir but you have made Nazr, you can fast. Qala fil Jawahir in Nahaza. يشعر بوجود الخلاف في المسألة صاحب جواهر when he's commenting on the saying of صاحب شرائع محقق هلی he says when he says this is مشهور this implies that there must be disagreement يشعر بوجود الخلاف في المسألة he doesn't say in nazalika mujma'un alay. He says in nazalika qulun mashhur. So sahib al-jawar says it seems that there must be disagreement. But he says illa inni lam ajidhu li ahadin min ashabina. But he says I have not found any of our Shia fuqaha to say that there is any issue with this. Everyone says you can make a specific nadr when you are musafir and do fasting some of our fuqaha have mentioned this that there is no ikhtilaf then sahib jawahir tries to argue from a hadith which is a written correspondence of Ali ibn Mahziar. In this hadith, inshallah, I will, because this is uh, con the discussion is continuing, we'll inshallah discuss it next week. But basically, in this hadith, what we have is that it is said you don't fast when you are traveling or you are ill as the ayah says ayah said if you are ill or you are fi safar fa'iddatul min ayyam al this hadith also says laysa alayka sawmuhu fi safar wala marad إلا أن تكون نويت ذلك unless you have made niyya which is understood if you have made niyya of nazr specifically tomorrow you are traveling but if you have made niyya or you make niyya uh, no some people during uh, war you know that 
was imposed by Saddam Hussein on Iran. Some of um, people were not able to fast because they were, you know, not there for 10 days, etc. So in order to fast, they used to do nazra, some people. If you make a specific nazra, it's not counted as months of Ramadan, but you are fasting. Uh, so this issue needs more discussion. Inshallah, we will discuss uh, next week. So what we discussed so far is that one of the conditions of validity of fasting is not to be musafir, not to travel uh, ritual distance, masafat shari'ye. Okay, so it's not any safar, any trip. It's masafat shari'ye. So about you know forty-five kilometers, one way or uh, 22.5 going, 22.5 for example coming back. Uh, if you are traveling for more than this distance, or you know, this distance and up uh, onwards, or uh, more, uh, you cannot uh, fast if you uh, travel in the morning. If you travel after midday, it's fine. And whether it's uh, limited to months of Ramadan or any wajib, or is it also possible to do mustahab, for example, or not? Is it possible to do nadr or not? These are few things that, alhamdulillah, we have discussed. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Do you have any question? Any question? Thank you very much. Seeing uh, any questions at the moment. Okay. Um, just regarding the limit of the um, the distance to be classified as a masafir religiously, this would basically depend on the marja and specific yeah. rulings on where the distance begins and where the distance ends. Is that yeah. right? Yeah, the distance is the same. But where to start counting, then it depends small cities and villages or you know belad kabire if it is belad kabire then they have different opinions and anyway where to count is maybe controversial there is this angle but uh, distance is the same even amongst the same marja could you you could have different interpretations of the ruling right because People yeah. can interpret it in a different way. Well, Marja has one fatwa. Marja cannot have more than one fatwa. People but I'm saying the Muqallik can interpret it in a different way? No. One is correct. One interpretation. No, I mean, one is correct, but many times people draw different conclusions mistakenly, right? Mistakenly, yeah. yes. But they have to check with Marja. Because Marja has only one fatwa. If people disagree on the interpretation, they should ask for clarification. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Jazakumullah khairan. Al-Tamas Adwa. Al-Tamas Adwa.